welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a first impressions video on the new Violet Voss Sugar Crystals palette. Now, I feel like Anastasia is launching the Riviera palette and what other palettes am I excited about? I've been so excited about palettes. There's the new one coming out from Colored Rain. Uh, what else? Oh my gosh, there's so many palettes. And this one kind of snuck in. I feel like it got announced and then it launched, which is perfect for me. I love not having to wait for a palette and I'm so happy that they launched this on Sephora because typically while at Voss, otherwise you have to pay for shipping and it's like a whole ordeal. I hate paying for shipping. So I got my Sugar Crystals palette from Sephora. And if you guys want to buy this, I will go ahead and link it down below. Just so you guys know, sometimes when I'm not lazy, I do generate links through Magic Links, which is just like a um, commission service. I don't know, I've made like 60 something dollars for Magic Links. And I feel like I, for the longest time I was like, who the heck bought stuff for my Magic Links? And then I realized you can actually make money if you shop through your own links, which I still forget to do because I use like Ebates and then I totally forget. So anyway, if you guys ever wanna support me or support the channel, feel free to use those shoppable links and you know, maybe I'll make some extra cash so I can keep buying more makeup. Anyway, I don't know. I just wanted to try and plug myself because I never usually do, but yeah. I'm so pumped for this, you guys, and how pretty is this? I forgot a little bit about their Flamingo palette, and I kept thinking like, oh, is this gonna be similar to the Flamingo palette? But I like this layout. I feel like it's kind of like the Huda Beauty style of palette, so, you know, you have the shades going across. So this palette has 18 beautiful shades, and I haven't actually watched any videos on this. I just kind of went off the assumption there's a matte row, these are like a duochrome row, and then these are more like a topper row. So that's kind of fun. It reminds me of that palette that Urban Decay did. It was like a weird purple palette, and I think it went on sale because nobody really liked it, and I actually bought it and returned it because I do that sometimes. Uh, if I can think of it, I will throw up a picture so you guys know what the heck I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, this is so beautiful, and on the back it says, 18 color eyeshadows and pressed pigment palette and it is a net weight of 32.4 grams or 1.14 ounces. Does it say where the palette is made? 24 month shelf life. These are pressed pigments on the top, it looks like. At least bubblegum and jelly belly are pressed pigments. Okay, it does say discontinue if sign of rash appears because bubblegum and jelly bean may contain colorant that is not approved for the eye area in US, Canada, and Brazil. Okay, it doesn't really say where the palette is made, which is kind of interesting. But yeah, here it is. I did create this look using this beautiful palette. So let's swatch it first and then let's get into the look. Okay guys, so I'm so ready to swatch this beautiful palette. I'm gonna start from the toppers and then go into the mattes because I feel like the toppers are gonna be kind of light and harder to see with my setup because they're so iridescent, but let's try and see. So here are the five of six shades. We've got Cotton Candy, Sherbert, which is like an orange, uh, Buttercream, which is like a yellow iridescent, Limeade, um, Sugar Crystal, which is the shade I use actually on my lids at the end. And then Lollipop is beautiful as well. I don't really have a palette like this. I think if you have the Anastasia, that highlighting palette that they came out with, uh, was it like this summer or something or last summer? Maybe you have these shades, but I don't have an eyeshadow formula like this. Now I'm gonna go into the middle row, which is kind of like the shimmery duochrome shades. Super pretty. Here are the five of six. And let me just swatch them quick and tell you the names. They're very rainbow. And then I did use the six shade on my lid as well. It's like the perfect pinky blue shade that's trending these days. But we have, let me just grab the palette here. Okay, we have strawberry, orange cream, 
lemon drop, pistachio, sweet and sour, and grape. So those are the next row. And then let's swatch the mattes on my other hand. Bubble gum is a pressed pigment. So pretty. Pear berry, banana, mint chocolate, choco, blue raz. Ooh. So there is five of six. And then let me quickly swatch jelly bean. There it is. So pretty. So here are all the swatches. <laughs> I always make this awkward. I'm sorry. <laughs> let me just let you guys look at these quick. And then here are the mattes. I did use this pink and the blue and the purple and the yellow in this eye look. So if you guys are curious to see how I created this very colorful eyeshadow look, Let's get into it. Okay guys, I'm so ready to dive into the Sugar Crystal palette. My face is done. I did film the foundation and the bronzer and stuff for a different video. So look for that first impressions coming up sometime. I'm trying to maximize, you know, my filming. So bear with me guys. I gotta, I gotta do what I gotta do to get through all this product. So here is the packaging. So beautimous. Wow. Oh my god, this looks so good. I saw the look that Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner created with this palette and I didn't watch her video because I wanted to like wait and like get my own thoughts together before I watch anyone else's videos. Uh, I'm so tempted to swatch this because I haven't yet. Ooh, I'm kind of thinking the purple and the blue, like a purple blue look maybe is what I'll do. Oh, this is so hard. She did like such a beautiful rainbow look. I saw it on her uh, thumbnail for her video. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna try something. Let's just wing it. This is a Wayne Goss number 19 brush. It's a really small blender brush. I think this will help me be really precise. So what I think I'm gonna do is place maybe the pink matte shadow, the purple matte shadow, and the blue matte shadow, and then do some things. Oh, this is pigmented. Ooh. I do the same thing a thousand times when it comes to eye looks. So bear with me because I'm trying to do something different today. That's pretty. I'm gonna do the same thing to each side. This is a smaller brush. I don't usually do stuff like this, but I think it's smart to go in with a small brush and just place the color and lightly blend versus like what I usually do, which is just go in with a big fluffy brush and I'm like windshield wiper mo motioning back and forth. Oh, I got my paper towels. This is what I was looking for. So I wanna dip into the purple shade. This pink shade is called Bubblegum, the purple shade. The next shade is gonna be called Jelly Bean. So I'm gonna place that in the next one third of my eye. So kind of like the middle socket part and like blend it into the pink. Oh my God. This is beautiful. I mean, I've only used two colors so far, but this is much more impressive than the Flamingo palette so far for me. I had forgotten all about that palette and then I saw they were announcing a new release and I was like, oh my gosh, please don't be like the Flamingo palette. I'm gonna go back into Bubblegum just to give it more intensity. Cool, okay, so hopefully you guys can see the purple. I kind of worked that into the crease. Now I wanna go into the shade Blue Razzle. I'm just cleaning off this same brush putting that oh, right at the end here. I feel like you guys are gonna be impressed with me because I don't usually do this much work, put this much work into an eye look. Um, <laughs> so, you know, give, it, give a girl a thumbs up if you're enjoying this situation. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I am so pumped about this shadow. And there's no fall fallout so far either. Wow. 
I'm just gonna keep blending. And you know, the purple, we haven't lost the purple either. It's still there, I still see it. So I'm just gonna go back into Jelly Bean and just place it like right here, just to blend the two shades. Just a little back and forth action. And then we gotta go back into Bubble Gum and just keep that nice and intensified. Ooh, I like this. I like this so much. Yay! Okay, love it. Now I need to pick a lid shade. And there's so many options. What are these like? Okay, let me just swatch this shade grape. Okay, this is like, you know, everyone's favorite color right now. Um, it's that like blue, purple. Oh my God, you guys. I, think, I feel like Violet Voss just like delivered on this palette. I'm gonna swatch this separate for you guys, but. Okay, I think I'm gonna be basic and just use the grape shade on my lid. I'm gonna try it with my finger first. You guys know I'm not a fan of using my fingers for eyeshadow, but I don't mind trying it, otherwise I'll just wet a brush in. Okay, let me try wetting a brush. I have, or not wetting a brush, but just a flat shader brush. This is from Luxy. I got this in like a boxy charm a hundred years ago. Cause I do want to bring the color in. Maybe I should pack it. Shimmer is hard to pick up, but the mattes are bomb. I'm like pressing it in. If you guys have this palette, can you tell me how you got the shimmers to work? Because I am struggling. Basically, I'm doing a cut crease at this point, but I think I'm losing my pink, which is bothering me. Time to wet this baby. I'm just gonna use my Milani Make it last. Let's see if that helps. I wish Violet Voss would step up their shimmer game in these colorful palettes because they used to have such beautiful shimmers in their neutral palettes. And then, so I tried the shade Grape. On this side, I'm wondering if I should try a different shade on this eye, just to try the shade Sugar Crystals. It's like a topper. Okay, let's try and press that on top and see if it adds any, ooh, it's kind of fun. Okay, I can live with that. Okay, I think I'll just use the uh, last row as toppers and then just leave this and just do the same thing on this side. So just gonna grab more of that grape shade. Yeah, I'm basically doing a cut crease minus the concealer trick, but I always do that. I don't usually ever do concealer because I feel like if I try to put concealer on a lid with shadow, I'll screw it up. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll try it, but. Okay, and then going into Sugar Crystal. Do you see when I add Sugar Crystal, it kind of amps it up just a tish. And then just grabbing my Wayne Goss brush. Cool. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Okay. Lower lash line time. You guys have to show you this. I picked this up from Amazon and I wanted it because I can never see my eyeliners when I put it in a cup. So I thought, hey, let me buy this little eyeliner holder or like lip pencils if you're into lip pencils. But now look, I can see all my eye pencils and I am dying to put that yellow matte in my lower lash line. So I'm going in with my Linda Halberry uh, Mood Crayon in the shade Happy Mood. And I'm just gonna. You know what I've noticed editing my videos is how 
ugly of a face I make when I'm putting eyeliner on. I can grab a small brush. This is from Angie's Sigma Favorites set. This is a shader crease E47, but I think this would be great for the lower lash line. And I'm dipping into the shade Banana. Okay, this isn't the most vibrant yellow I've ever seen. Okay, let's try an iridescent shade in the inner corner. I'm going in with Lemon Drop. And I'm just going to put some mascara on and maybe some lipstick and I will be right back. Okay guys, so you saw the swatches, you saw this eye look. Personally, I think this is a fun palette for Violet Voss. They're so well known for their neutrals. They have the Holy Grail palette. They did a collab with Laura Lee back in the day. I used to actually own that palette and who can forget the giant, what was that palette called? The one that I used to always make fun of because it had tacky packaging. It was like silver and I can't even remember what it was called, but it was like this giant palette with like 50 eyeshadows or something like that that I loved. I also have tried the Hashtag palette. I bought the Flamingo palette last year. I did end up selling that one on Poshmark because I just didn't really love the formula. I feel like this one is a little bit better. I don't know how much use I'm gonna get from shades like this, honestly. I don't spend enough time using eyeshadows like on a daily basis where I would actually have time to like top my shadow and do a look like this on a daily basis so I don't know how much use I would get and these are very pastel I think it's a fun palette especially like with Easter coming up I think it's colorful I love the mattes I think they're really fun at least the four I tried well I didn't love the yellow I don't feel like this is the best yellow I've ever seen but the pink and the blue and the purple were very fun to work with so I'm excited for that and yeah, I think it's a fun palette. I don't think it's something you need to rush out and buy. I know a lot of you have had your eye on this palette, but some of you are maybe waiting for a sale, which I think is a smart idea. But of course, you guys know I love to review makeup, so I'm constantly picking things up to review for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this first impression. Let me know your thoughts on this palette down below. And if you made it to the end, little surprise giveaway. <laughs> this is a bag from one of our wedding gifts from like what three years ago now but i put some goodies in here you guys this is just a little thank you for your support and i just want to give this to somebody there is some makeup in here i got this cute little notepad in here i got this little wet and wild palette in here that I bought to review but never used a little necklace from Bobble Bar. So it's just a little mishmash of stuff. Obviously, it's not like a thousand dollar giveaway. So, you know, I just want to let you guys know. But I'm very grateful for everyone that watches my videos. So, this is a little thank you. I will leave the rules down in the description box. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.